Hi guys, sorry I didn't have time to do a proper intro to this video but Christmas is coming and I really wanted to get this up on YouTube so we're gonna have to do without it today. To make this wreath what I'm doing is um, creating small bundles of evergreen um, and I'm gonna do lots of these bundles first before I even start making the wreath. So I'm just tying them around with some florist wire and you can see I've got some other bits and pieces here as well. I've got some holly with red berries and I've got some sticks and, and that's basically all I'm using to make this evergreen wreath. Just a few things, it doesn't take much. It's just so easy and definitely worth it to have that smell of fresh evergreen in your home at Christmas time. It's just wonderful. And then once all the bundles are made, I'm just going to tie some of this green florist wire. Um, onto the wreath first of all, just tie it off, but I'm not going to cut it because um, I will, we won't do that until the very end of the wreath. And then just take my first bundle, a couple of bundles, and place them around the wreath. Some, I'm putting one on the inside as well so that you, uh, so that the inside of the wreath is, is covered. Just wrap the wire around, make sure it's really tight. Um, it's important to get it really tight because as the wreath dries out it becomes a bit loose and um, you don't want any of the, the evergreen to be falling out so make sure you make that really nice and tight, pull it nice and tight. And then the next bundles you just overlap um, onto the previous bundles and you keep doing that really all the way around the wreath. Bind it around again. Nice and tight. And then I'm just going to add um, a little bit of holly here. Just a little bit of interest. Not sure how to look. Yeah, maybe there. Wrapped around again. And I'll speed this up for you in a minute so you don't have to watch the whole thing. Mm, I wish you could smell this. It's really amazing and it's really putting me into the Christmas spirit, I can tell you that. Imagine a, little, imagine a few twigs in as well as the holly. And you know, these are just twigs out of my garden, so it doesn't have to be anything special. Just something to add a little bit of interest so that the uh, wreath doesn't look so flat. And when you get to the end of the wreath, tie off the wire at the back and cut it, or you can make a little hanging loop if you like, and that's it. Now you can hang up the wreath on your front door, or as I always do every year, I make an advent wreath with four candles and a little bit of Christmas decoration. Then the first candle gets lit on first advent, and on second advent, two candles, third advent, three candles, and so on. And here you can see some of mine from previous years. And that's it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time.